technology and is there someone standing right next to you now and you can't even see them or hear them they are completely cloaked or is there a aircraft or a car outside your house that you cannot see you cannot detect cannot hear this is how they do it right? and this is not science fiction this is science fact today these are things that can be done right plasma stealth is a technology where basically you take a thin film and trap plasma between it and you can make that any shape so you can wrap it around a person in clothing or you could wrap it around an aeroplane, a Boeing 747 or a little model aeroplane right. and the reason why, why, would, why you would want to wrap plasma around something is because plasma at certain densities absorbs certain wavelengths of the electromagnetic fields the added benefit of plasma is that we all know about plasma televisions and any picture that you take with a camera can be, can be projected in plasma. So now you can have plasma at certain densities which absorbs certain wavelengths and now you can project an image. So if you've got a camera on the back of you and a plasma on the front of you, you could basically make yourself invisible is what I'm trying to say. Now if you wrap this screen around yourself and then wrap cameras in, intermingle cameras in between the plasmas, hey presto, doesn't matter which way you look at the person, they're invisible. And not only invisible to the naked eye, invisible to electromagnetic wavelengths as well, i.e. infrared, ultraviolet, so on and so forth. And if you combine plasma technology with stealth technology, i.e. The materials and paints that they use on the F-117 bomber, or the stealth plane, whatever you want to call it, you can absorb radar, but radar as well, which is, uh, is good. So now you can absorb infrared, ultraviolet, and radar. Now my cloaking device comprises of uh, magnetic interference and what it does is it just diffuses the light around my body and it's a lot better than the plasma device that I'm talking about but since you can research these plasma devices on Wikipedia why don't you go and have a look at plasma cloaking so I'll just turn my cloaking device on and you can obviously see that it's completely invisible now it's easy to hide myself against the webcam because the webcam doesn't really pick up anything pick anything up but if I wave my arms about now you might just be able to see I don't know, you can really, it's really hard to make out on the webcam but because I'm waving my arms about vigorously you can just see little wafty motions if you look very very carefully then we've got the problem that you breathe so you're making noises or your car makes uh, an engine noise, even if it's an electric engine it makes an electric engine noise and your aeroplane makes a jet engine noise and how do you get rid of that? Well we've had noise cancellation for years, absolutely years and years and years it's that good that you can have a V8 monster truck yeah, and then inside that a noise cancellation device similar to a tape recorder which can cancel out all the noise that the engine and suspension makes and it can be more or less quiet and you know how noisy those V8 fire breathing engines are in monster trucks with noise cancellation you can more or less cancel all that noise out without a helmet on <laughs> without earplugs in just with noise cancellation technology so as we can see things can be invisible and not only invisible to your eyes invisible to your ears as well is it outside your house now is it above your house is that why we're not seeing UFOs anymore? Because the government's technology has got that good now that you can't see this stuff. You've stopped hearing it in the news, haven't you? They're not so common anymore. And I wonder, I just wonder, if it's because the plasma technology has got to that extent now that people just can't see the government spying on them anymore.